What's going on guys? It is Wyatt and today we're out in the shop during the quarantine bullshit of Colorado and today we're going to be doing something that really has no purpose but uh, it'll sound cool. So we got our buddy Mitch over here with his what year avalanche? 2003. 2003.53 liter avalanche and we're going to put a thrush muffler on it. I don't even know what kind it was. It was just giving me. <laughs> Figured this thing was too quiet. If you guys remember Charlie, Charlie ended up giving him this muffler for free. So we're gonna chop off the stock muffler real quick and weld this thing in place of it. That thing is. It's oh, massive, yeah, it's dude. More, yeah, it's more like this. It's a baby's cradle. Now. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. So we'll get the truck up in the air real quick. Show you guys the muffler and start chopping on this damn thing. Y'all want some fucking cheeseburgers? <laughs> on a Monday. <laughs> Hot diggity damn. It's a flying turd. No. It'll, it'll stop, bro. You got another two feet. I mean, that's a little high, but whatever. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, so with the truck up in the air, you can see just how freaking big this old exhaust is. It's like as big as his head. <laughs> I was going to make a funny joke about how you have a big torso and tiny legs, but <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to do that. <laughs> I got jeans on, you can't tell. Oh, no, it's actually, it works great, because this is your torso, this is your legs. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Wait, oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Got it. No turning back now. <laughs> Go fire this thing up, boy. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Damn short stuff. Look at those tippy toes. Ah. He's short as hell. Shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. More angle to the dangle. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Big old bitch. Oh, my God. I've let some of those just straight smash into the floor before. <laughs> On accident, of course. All right, this is complete straight pipe with the cat still installed. It'll sound sick. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Rev that fucker up, buddy. I think we just leave it. All 200 horsepower. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, if that, maybe. I don't even know at this point. 200,000 miles. Oh, fuck. For real. Nice. One more for the, for the people. All right. <laughs> Decent. Decent, Ricky. Yeah. All right, so sound clip straight pipe. Sounds pretty good. Not as loud as I thought, though. No, I, honestly. Yeah. So uh, anyways, we're getting ready to throw this fucking thrush up in here and it fits up pretty butt tight to this other pipe, the existing pipe. Uh, but to make it easy, what I'm gonna do is I want this to be able to slide into that pipe because it'll be super easy to weld. So got my old Harbor Freight pipe expander. We're gonna run this guy in here, screw her in a little bit and then it'll expand this pipe a little bit. So hopefully we can just slide the exhaust right on into this thing and make it easy to weld. All right. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. All right, so uh, so far we're doing things with things and cuts and stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> great job. 
Out on the back. You're doing great. Yeah. So uh, I went out back and we got a big ass scrap pile of metal out there and I found some three inch pipe. So I'm not really sure if this is exhaust pipe or what. But, uh, uh, I don't give a shit. There, so <laughs> it's metal and it will be fused with weld. That's all I know. <laughs> uh, so we went ahead and made a bunch of pie cuts with it. Um, just a quick tip to get nice pie cuts like this. You set your blade at 7 degrees, not 15 degrees. Otherwise, you get really notchy bends. But at 15 or at 7 degrees, it gives you a 15 degree overall bend or cut per pipe, and they just look better. So, a little bit more work and probably ain't going to make a damn bit of difference that it's smooth instead of <laughs> not Some so jagged, smooth. yeah. But it is what it is. So, we've got these cut up. I need to deburr the insides of them real quick. We're going to tack weld these all together. Uh, we cut this long piece here. So up on the truck, it'll be something kind of like this if I can hold it all together. Oh shit, boy. You need an extra hand? No, I'll use my third leg if I need it. Okay, that one? Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna kind of go something like that and then go right over to our muffler and we'll be freaking set to go, baby. Oh yeah. Gonna look look sick. at that bend. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. That looks titties, huh? Oh, yeah, that looks very nice. Oh, yeah, that's like straight on. Oh, yeah. We just got the new one installed. You ready? I'm Hold ready. on, I gotta show them the old one. So this is the old guy all chopped out. Uh, we didn't really film much of putting that other one back in, but it is all installed. Hopefully Isha, and it's got the bolt tight. Oh, throaty. <laughs> Literally just like anything with a thrush on it. Fucking uh, Mitch, the other Mitch's Camaro. Yeah, the Camaro. Yeah, exactly, bro. That yep. sounds exactly like it. <laughs> sounds identical. It's like, it's not obnoxious though. No, like it's not bad. I think in the cab you won't really even hear it. You can't really. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So we're getting ready to get out of here. Numb nuts, you know, with his obnoxious ass exhaust. But uh, yeah, we're heading up to Greeley. We're gonna go pick up a Honda Grom and kind of an impulse buy, but it should be pretty cool. So we're gonna take you guys along and we will start recording when we get there. Oh shit, boy, look at that nice Wits diesel service sticker right in the back of the window. I man one window, I man one turbo on the back too in the hood. Maybe one, maybe <laughs> that thing got triple turbo, boy, I tell you. Sick. You trying to catch a gap? Gonna get it. No, we're going to get you. Get ready, old this son. Tesla get ready, old son. Power break it. Power break it. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> oh, we just got the smoke. That twin turbo. This Tesla, dude. <laughs> oh, damn, Trollo. That thing a fast SA. <laughs> got some rattle from the front. <laughs> Fucking guy. <laughs> Fucking guy. 
So it has been a full 24 hours since those last couple clips you guys saw. Last night, I just forgot to film. I did buy this bike from a good buddy of mine. So when I got up there, we were kind of shooting the shit and it just kind of spaced my mind to record it. But we did go pick up the Honda Grom and here she is. So this thing is in really, really good shape. It's definitely not flawless, but for its age, very good shape. It is a 2014 Honda Grom 125cc. It has 950 miles on it and I got it for a freaking really good deal. So it's already got a couple of cool mods done to it. It's got the sweet LED headlight, freaking light bars going for it. Uh, it's also got this Yoshi RS9 exhaust. It's a full exhaust on it. So it sounds really good. Um, other than that, it's pretty much stock. It's got like no wear on the tires. Like I said, it's got 900 miles on it, which isn't even break in yet. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. It's also got this little mirror. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't know Honda Groms all that well, but I think the factory mirrors went like went up here on the bars, but it's got that cool little side mount mirror. And other than that, you know, pretty much stock. So I'm going to go ahead, fire this thing up for you guys real quick, show you that while it's running. And then we got some other cool little things to do here tonight before we head home. Something else I forgot to mention is it has this cool LED tail light. I'm not sure, but I haven't seen a whole many of them like this. So it's got the brake light or just it's running light kind of deal. It's got a high beam for when you hit the brakes and it's also got built in turn signals. So you got your right and you got your left. So yeah, kind of cool there. Like I said, I just don't think I've actually seen one like that before. So yeah, so let's go ahead and fire this thing up real quick. As you can see right there, it has 958 miles on it. So super low mileage and just honestly a really good setup for how much I paid for it. Friggin' fires right up, idles super nice. One thing that I didn't know about these is these bikes are actually fuel injected, which is pretty sweet, especially for being only 125 cc's. They make them idle and run really good. So yeah, with it fired up, that exhaust sounds really neat also. So yeah, I've already done a little bit of work to the bike. I had to put a new battery in it and I also fixed a little bit of the weird kind of wiring on it for the headlights, uh, which reminds me, I'll show you guys those real quick. So you can actually turn them on with the key off right now and it doesn't have a running light like it would have from factory. So they are off and then when you hit the high beam switch, they turn on and they are super bright. So that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm already in love with the bike. The thing runs really good. Uh, surprisingly, all the 125s I've ever had ran like dog shit because they were carbureted, but this fuel injection stuff actually works really neat. So really pumped about that, and there's nothing really much more to it. Um, I'm probably going to be filming a little bit on this. If you guys don't know, I used to ride pit bikes a freaking ton. Like, if you go back to Boosted Boy's channel and go back to, like, the very first video ever uploaded on that channel, it was me and Kyle riding pit bikes all over our hometown. So it'll be kind of cool to hop back on one that's actually reliable. If you guys have seen me at like the shows we go to or whatever, you know I mob around this other little pit bike, but it's pretty janky. So it's nice to have one that I can just hop onto and ride and it's just easy to go. You've also seen that pit bike on my YouTube channel. It's the one that has that 200cc four stroke in it. So yeah, really fun bike, but uh, this one will be cool because you can just hop on it, hit the electric start and off you go. So yeah, with that being said, we're actually gonna do a little bit of more dirt bike related stuff tonight. I'm gonna go pull out my 2015 YZ450F out of the shed and we need to put a couple of parts on it. So tonight we're gonna be doing some very basic maintenance stuff on this guy. We have a new rear sprocket and front and rear brake pads for it. So I do track ride this thing occasionally, but I mainly prefer to trail ride and go to the sand dunes. So I have a spare wheel and tire with a paddle on it and then i have this guy for all the trail riding the problem is with this sprocket on here this is a 48 tooth and i have a 49 tooth sprocket on the paddle tire so while it's easy to just swap these guys out i have to readjust the chain every time and it becomes a real pain in the ass so tonight we have a new rear sprocket for this guy it is a 49 tooth just like the paddle tire is and that way when we go to swap these guys out i won't have to adjust the chain every time so now that you know what we're doing Let's go ahead, get this thing propped up real quick and start tearing into it. All right, first thing I'm gonna say is don't make fun of my stand, okay? I have a proper stand for this bike, but I cannot find it right now. So a five gallon barrel of lacquer thinner on some two by fours will work.
So I got the YZ450 all buttoned up off camera, you know, bled the brakes, set the chain tension, all of that good stuff. Uh, all I have left to do is do the oil change on it and it'll be ready for either to go ride the next time or to a trip out to Little Sahara Sand Dunes in Utah. Uh, me and my buddy are planning to do that over Memorial Day weekend. Still up in the air with this coronavirus stuff, the sand dunes are actually shut down. So I guess we'll kind of see and play it by ear. Uh, if you guys want to see a video on that, let me know in the comments below. Definitely be down to film that. My plan is to send this thing off some huge jumps out there and probably wreck. So definitely gonna film it. Hopefully something interesting happens. And if you guys will watch it, I'll definitely upload it for you. As far as the Grom goes, super pumped I went and picked this thing up. Really don't have any use in mind for it. Kind of an impulse buy, like I said earlier. Uh, but maybe if you guys wanna see some vlogs or something while riding the Grom around, we could do something like that. So yeah, as far as this video is concerned, I'm gonna get the frick out of here tonight and go edit this video. I know it was kind of all over the place with doing the exhaust on the truck and then freaking working on dirt bike things. Uh, but if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below and a comment uh, and maybe I'll do more like this. Who knows? So yeah, that is where we're going to leave off for tonight and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Peace.